Okay, mini nephew video. Uh, take one. So, I am doing robot marathoning since 2010. That means I just sit here on the total gym. Oh, rowboat machine and I row my boat gently down the uh, humidified air stream no two nephews and nieces this is very hardcore parkour because I overdid it in 2010 with 120 pounds I don't know. I never had cheerleaders before. Don't really need them. I have a friend though. I literally babysat myself uh, in Iran, in Tehran. So, what do I use for cheerleading? Uh, I fine tune myself a little bit. How many shish kebabs would a shish kebab, Chuck Norris would kebab, believer haircut would? Uh, an alphabet soup of magnetic alphabets with a promise ring Napoleon Dynamite style from the film Napoleon Dynamite uh, my uncles gave me this I just toss it up in the air it's like flipping a coin I flip ping pong coin you know it's like Monopoly I don't know it's got olive oil Leaves or something, canola, oil is oil. Uh, I got some air cushion for the good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Cheers that I hem to myself. I believe that I can fly. I believe that I can fly like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Uh, and then, tossing the coin, like I can't hold all these at one time, it's basically like this. Am I getting this? There's a little half moon. There's a, there's a shepherd flute. Hi. There's a flamingo. With a purple scarf. Uh, there's a book of coffin, a book of love. Uh, book of verse, and thou singing in the wilderness, and wilderness is paradise now. Uh, this tells me what pitch I'm saying. Uh, ee, ee. That probably means something in jazz, I don't know. I got my fragrance, neutral breeze. Got my hand sanitizer. I rubbed that on my beard a little bit. Just for good measure. Try to go for that hairstyle. Very wavy, just from a marathon. Who has parking, right? <coughs> uh, I have to walk everywhere, basically. In summary, uh, I kind of go like that, put that there, I put this, and the Hallmark green card there, put this, there, I kind of fits on the future, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Okay, put that there, put the little half moon there, Wall of large numbers. Uh, it's very complex cheerleading. I've been doing this for myself since before preschool. I had nothing but uh, encyclopedias and uh, my parents' secondhand book collection. Uh, and then this is a book of numbers, book of words, 
<laughs> it's also numerical Persian language. It's mixed, you know. Everything is numbers in Persian language. You find one, and then you, you go for it. I have no idea what this stuff means. This small one doesn't have pictures like a big one. <laughs> I don't know. That's a nice picture. Pretty architecture. I like that too. I'm trying to go for this hairstyle. Pretty. I like it. Is that eight? Is that, a, is that an octagon? It's like the house of power for breakdancing power moves. Hardcore parkour for ping pong. Nothing but the pong. And the whole pong. So it'll help you ping. I don't know. And then after I do a robo marathon, I just, uh, I got my golf and to call, to summarize it all as a one day's good marathon. All right, here I go. I put this in the wall. Well, I'll put this here. There. I just start my marathon. Okay. Two hundred and thirty eight. Bingo. Winner, winner, shrimp dinner. Uh, silly stuff like this, you know. These are cheers. Cheerleading cheers keeps me going on marathons. You have nothing else to think about. You gotta hymn something. It's gospel music, right? These are very lyrical. I can kind of read it, but the vowels aren't there. Ugh! We do not make it easy, Huffez! I really have to get into it if I wanted to know it, you know? In summary, I have not still started my marathon yet. Robot marathon for today. The reason why I'm uploading these robot marathons on a large video uploader is because uh, these are very old cheers. They're, there's literally a book about it. <laughs> and uh, having a biosensor track it is so cumbersome. It's not really working out for me. Uh, it's very, it's not really practical. Having a video to go back on is better. I can just count the number of rows I did and then see how I progress every day. That way, I know I have my golfing stats and my rowboating stats. My family gave me this. Uh, I wore this when I won racket sports my whole life. It's very old. Still has a trick. Sweat is sweat, right? 60% saline humanoid fish. That's humans. It's a bug life. Here we go. Oh God. I think I covered the gist. That's basically what I wanted to say. This is for my nephews and nieces. Anybody else can view them, I guess. It's the beauty of the World Wide Web and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it looks like I did apparently cover it all, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to start the Robo Marathon. Like, it's not even really competitive. I'm going against my own previous marathons, but still, you get the... You really got to pump yourself up, you know? Look. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. I'm about to get going. Here I go. 
Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Oh, a flower doesn't have a front or a back. Every flower has a subjective beauty. This basically probably meant uh, if you're taking a break from your marathons, just rub some mud on it. Um, eat some food. Listen to some good music. Whatever marathon music is good for you. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people like A minor scale non-lyrical music. Because then it's it kind of... It's, uh, it's subjective. It's not too cheery. It's not too bubbly. It's not too sugary. It's, uh, it's a subjective musical playlist, right? Everyone has different songs they listen to. I'm just listening to some random dance workout music on the radio. Radio Javon. Because who has time to keep up with the music, right? Okay. But yeah, that's, that's really important. Verse, you know, musical ver words, verse. Uh, only so many permutations and combinations. They've li literally graphed it all out in books. It's been done. <laughs> uh, everybody just listens to the DJ mix and a dub smash go. Let the deep, let the beats drop. Okay. I don't know. Like, like you're just gonna read this on your own? That's weird. Everybody has radio. Uh, but yeah, so if you're taking your break from a marathon, you rub some mud on it, you eat some food, listen to some random radio playlist, whatever floats your boat. Oh, for me, it's dance. Life, liberty, and pursuit of belly dancing. I'm a real world marathoner. Uh, 